Jeff Witcher back here at Lawler Events Center. Capacity crowd watching UNLV and Nevada Reno. UNLV has dominated this series, leading at 37 to 10. My broadcasting partner tonight is Mark Workenzine. And although UNLV has dominated, Jerry Tarkanian, uh, he's fearful of the Wolfpack, isn't he? Absolutely scared to death, Jeff. Every game that's up here in Reno between the Wolfpack and the Rebels is, is historically been very close. Absolutely frightened. Spent no time on Michigan State, who Jerry plays next week in a big intersectional game. Spent no time on Michigan State this week. Nothing but Reno. Two years ago was the last meeting, and it was a double overtime win for UNLV 98-96. We'll have the starting lineups for you when we come back. But first, these messages. Nobody makes banking easier. Now you can bank seven days a week at First Interstate Bank's full-service Lucky Store branches, which means you can open a new checking account, apply for a loan, get cash, and do all your banking at your convenience. So check out our full-service branches in selected Lucky Stores, open seven days a week. When it comes to convenience, we've got it in the bag. First Interstate Bank. Desert GMC presents the December in the Desert Sale, featuring closeout sale prices on sturdy 90 and 91 GMC trucks that will get you over the river and through the woods in style. 91 Sonoma S15s with air are from just $77.95, and van conversions are priced $1,500 below factory invoice, plus special GMAC financing. Hurry into Desert GMC today during the December in the Desert Sale. There's never been a better time to wrap up a new Desert GMC. A hint of music, an open heart, the scent of mesquite. Unforgettable moments. It doesn't take a special occasion to make an occasion special. The Steakhouse, quietly nestled in the heart of the Circus Circus. Right now, you can get Sizzler's all-you-can-eat triple shrimp combo, crunchy golden fried shrimp, tangy shrimp cocktail, and savory Cajun shrimp. Can I have more of just the fried shrimp? Yes. Can I have more shrimp cocktail? Sure. Just Cajun shrimp? Yeah. Good. I'll take all three. The all-you-can-eat triple shrimp combo. As much as you want of what you want. For a limited time only, only at Sizzler. Welcome back to the Lawler Events Center here in Reno, Nevada. I'm Jeff Witcher along with Mark Workentine. There was a scare for UNLV last night. Uh, Greg Anthony hurt a thumb in practice. How is it? Initially, it was feared that his right thumb was broken, heavily taped. He'll play tonight with no problem. Let's take a look at the starting lineups. First, the visitors from UNLV at power forward, Larry Johnson. If there's a better player on the college level, I haven't seen him. Stacy Ogman, his mate at the other forward spot. At center, George Ackles, back from a redshirt medical season. And in the backcourt, the great uh, shooting guard, Anderson Hunt, and the playmaker for the running Rebels, Greg Anthony. For Nevada Reno, at one forward, it'll be Matt Williams. Last year was a guard. He's 6'3 at forward. At the other forward is Gary Scott at center. And they need a big game from Rick Heron tonight. In the backcourt, Gary Husky will make a rare start. And their playmaking guard is Kevin Soares. So, tonight, it's number one rated UNLV. And by the way, if you haven't heard, number two ranked Arizona lost to LSU earlier today. We'll find out how the Rebels fare tonight against their other uh, rival from the state of Nevada, Nevada Arena. We'll have the tip-off coming up right after this. Ah, the good old days. Remember when Nevada had an airline that offered low fares and lots of flights to Reno and the L.A. area? Alas, fares went up and flights went down. Now, Southwest Airlines offers six new daily flights to Reno, Tahoe, five to Ontario, and seven to Burbank for $59 or less. So, thanks to Southwest Airlines, low fares and lots of flights are back. Pump it up, pump it out, pour it on and work it out. 
Because after working out, you don't want to fill up. So reach for the silver bullet, the one that won't slow you down. Talking about cool, it's like it's the right beer now. Tonight, it's UNLV's running Rebels against the Wolfpack from Nevada, Reno. As we mentioned, UNLV leads the series 37 to 10. It dates back to 1962. The Rebels have dominated. They have won the last six games in a row in 10 of the last 12. UNLV comes in 1-0 on the Young campaign. They won big against Alabama Birmingham 109-68. And they've had uh, quite a few days off. And now tonight will be the seventh game of the season for Lynn Stevens' Nevada Reno Club. And they have just one win in their first six games as the introductions of the starting lineup are taking place for the crowd here at the Lawler Event Center. Jerry Tarkanian, in his 18th year as a head coach at UNLV, percentage-wise, the winningest coach in collegiate basketball history. His opposing coach is Lynn Stevens in his fourth year at Nevada Reno. He is 46 and 43 at Nevada Reno. 94 and 110 when you consider his other years at Washington State of the Pac-10. This is a non-conference battle. Nevada Reno is a member of the Big Sky and of course the running rebels of UNLV out of the Big West Conference. The men in black and white tonight, Al Hackney, Cherry Tackett, and Tom Hickey. Well, Mark Workington, this should be some kind of a ball game heavily favored UNLV, but as we talked about moments ago, Jerry Tarkanian does not take this Wolfpack team lightly, although they come in one and five. Jeff, this could very easily be just one heck of a basketball game tonight. Uh, as you said, this is seventh, eighth game of the year for Nevada Reno, but for the Rebels, it's only their second. I think when the Rebels go to the bench tonight, you could see some drop-off that you didn't see in their initial contest against Alabama-Birmingham. Jerry Tarkanian with his team gathered round. They won their first national championship in UNLV history last season. I think everybody around the world has heard that they got a reprieve from the NCAA and will be able to challenge for another national championship this year. The Rebels in red trimmed and white. Lynn Stevens told me the other day that at times he'll try to play UNLV man-to-man. -man. I don't know how that's possible. But, Jeff, you, I think you can see some man-to-man -to -man tonight, but ultimately you're going to see a lot of zone defense. They're going to con contest the Rebels' outside shooting, see if, it, if they can really prove themselves from there, see if it's legitimate. But the Nevada Reno front line of 6'10, 6'5, 6'3. It's only a matter of time if they play man to man. Ackles out jumps Williams, and UNLV has the ball. Anthony Hunt to Stacy Ogman. Just the start of the ball game from Jeff. Reno, Nevada. Ogman. Right away, we're seeing the 2 3 defense. 2 3 zone by Nevada Reno. Anderson Hunt, air ball. Ogman was there and puts it up and in. Stacey Ogman had 19 against Alabama Birmingham. Ackles got a piece of the shot from Heron, and it goes out of bounds to the running Rebels, who lead it two to nothing. Larry Johnson, 6'7", 250-pound senior out of Dallas, Texas, turned down who knows how many millions to stay in school and not go to the National Basketball Association. Ogman did the same. Anthony for three, and it's five nothing, just like that. 
Kevin Soares, their playmaker. Husky, air ball. Heron with great hustle. And the big man hits it with the left hand. 5-2 UNLV. So if you can see here, out of the zone, UNR is going to try to basically match up and, and play man-to-man -man in zone areas. Another three, Greg Anthony. Well, I guess his, his wrist is okay. Six-point lead for UNLV. Just the start of the ball game, 18 and a half remaining first half. On the miss, battle for the ball. It goes out of bounds to Nevada Reno off of UNLV. Len Stevens, fourth year as a head coach at Nevada Reno. It comes in to Matt Williams. Williams is 6'3", but he has great leaping ability. That's Husky with it. Kevin Soares, too hard. Greg Anthony will let it go out of bounds, and it goes to the Rebels. Coach Tarkanian is very fearful of Soares and the other perimeter people for, for UNR taking three-pointers and hitting him. Hunt for three. Boom, baby. That makes it 11-2. Nine-point lead for the running Rebels. Intercepted by Johnson. Trying to lead to Ogman. Stacy's got it. Slam dunk. It counts. He's fouled. Stacy Ogman just does a tremendous job here in the Rebels' man-to-man -man defense. Gets up in the passing lane. Denies the pass. Finishes it. What more can you ask? Stacy Ogman out of Pasadena, California. 6'8", 205-pound senior. Going to the free throw line for the second time in as many games. He hit his only free throw attempt last weekend. He completes the three-point play, and that makes it UNLV 14, the Wolfpack of Nevada Reno 2. Soares guarded by Hunt. Williams loses it on the baseline. Anthony leads to Anderson. Hunt tries to slam, and he missed it. Comes off to Husky. Husky all the way. Nice bounce pass, but the shot was not attempted. There's a nice shot by Gary Scott. 14 to 5 at the other end. We've got a whistle and a foul, a blocking foul on Gary Scott. The UNLV just quickly inbounds it, gets it up to Anderson Hunt. A great finisher on the other end, takes it to the basket, draws the foul. Seventeen twenty-two remaining first half. It's 14-5 in favor of UNLV. Ackles trying to get it. He loses it to Scott. Outlet goes to Soares. Kevin Soares, the bank shot is no good. Rebound, Heron. Fly swatted away by Ackles. They want goaltending. Let's wait and see. They Greg count it. Greg Anthony gets beat on the dribble. Heron gets the second shot. And the goaltending. So the Wolfpack get the goaltending, which they wanted. And Heron goes to the free throw line. He is 6'10", 235 pounds, a sophomore from Rio Linda, California. He makes it. 14 to 8, UNLV leading. Hunt has it. Little over 17 minutes remaining first half. Glad you could join us. I'm Jeff Witcher along with Mark Workentine here at the Lawler Event Center in Reno, Nevada. Anthony Short. Rebounded by Kevin Soares. Husky's got it. Traveling on Rick Heron. So Rick Heron shuffled his feet and it cost him. More zone by UNR. Ackles trying to work down low. Hunt. Anthony. Ogman for three. Comes off no good. Rebound Husky of the Wolfpack to Soares. Matt Williams. In and out. 
Johnson leads to Hunt. Slam dunk. Well, Anderson Hunt made sure that time. 16-8. Eight, eight point lead for the running Rebels of UNLV. 16 minutes and 10 seconds remaining first half. Soars. Great rebound by Ackles. George very active, and that's what they want. They need him to be a great rebounder in 1990-91. Shot no good by Hunt. Off of Ackles goes to Ogman. He gives it to Anthony. The Wolfpack take it away. The lead to Williams. Slams it in. The UNR has no fear of running with the Rebels. They like to run themselves. Both teams in transition are really pushing the ball at each other. The lead is now six. A three-pointer by Ogman makes it nine, just like that. 15 minutes and 23 seconds remaining first half. Heron, easy bucket. Rick Heron is averaging a little over 15 a game for the Wolfpack. 19 to 12, UNLV leading. Now here for UNLV, it has to be a little smarter. Go inside out against the smaller UNR team. Alley hoop to Johnson, perfectly executed. Ogman to Johnson. At the other end, it's stolen by Greg Anthony. To Hunt, another two. And it's 23 to 12, UNLV leading Nevada Reno. Oh, what a talent-laden UNLV team we have in 1990-91. Oh, a four shot, and it goes in. Kevin Soares of Nevada, Reno. 23-14, the Rebels lead. Down low, Ogman to Johnson all alone, and he misses a shot. Reason why he was fouled. Jeff, there's just not a whole lot that the Wolfpack can do once the Rebels decide to go inside. Lenny Stevens trying to devise the defense of Rick Heron, who makes the foul here, does not get in a lot of foul trouble. Heron fouled out seven times last year, and once he's out of the lineup, the Wolfpack lineup gets real small. Jason Schmidt, number 22, is into the game for Nevada Reno. He's out of Federal Way, Washington. He's strong. He bench presses 300 pounds. Larry Johnson at the line for UNLV. He misses. First uh, free throw miss of the season for Johnson. Makes the second. And now we've got a timeout called by Nevada Reno. 14-25 remaining first half. UNLV 24, Nevada Reno 14. Over time, European cars have evolved into fine luxury automobiles. The Lexus LS400, however, achieved car and driver's highest customer satisfaction ratings ever in value, workmanship, and overall satisfaction in just its first year. So much for the theory of evolution. Test drive the LS400 at Fletcher Jones Lexus. from the ocean to the Frontier Hotel and Gambling Hall. The freshest fish in Las Vegas, served in an atmosphere reminiscent of a Caribbean hideaway. It's the St. Thomas Seafood Grotto. Every day is a new fresh catch menu, and it's only at the Frontier, where Las Vegas plays. Oh, Butter Snickers, a whole new way to get satisfaction. That is action. The early three-point field goal percentages, UNLV 57%, just one three-pointer for the Wolfpack. The Wolfpack have the basketball. UNLV has a 10-point lead. A little over 14 minutes remaining, first half. Matt Williams will handle out of bounds for Nevada Reno. And now they say a Husky, you take it. 
Just coming out of the timeout, Coach Tarkanian likes to change defenses. He's done just that here, going to the, the Rebels' amoeba zone rather than the man-to-man -man they've been in for the first six minutes of the game. Heron on a turnaround. Nice touch by the 6'10", Rick Heron. That makes it 24 to 16 as the Wolfpack trying to stay close, and thus far they have alley -oop to Osmond. Great pass by Greg Anthony. What timing that takes. 26 to 16, the Rebels. Ah! Ackles, goaltending. It's easy to blame George Ackles on the goaltending there, Jeff. But the Rebels got beat at the point of attack. The guards got beat. George Eccles had the help. He got caught on goaltender. Kevin Soares gets the bucket. 26 to 18. UNLV leading Nevada Reno. Rebels here looking for lobs to Larry Johnson. This is their three offense. George Ackles is in the medium post. They hope that the backline defenders, guys like Heron, will guard Ackles and they'll throw a lob to Johnson. Anthony on the baseline drive, lost it, and the Wolfpack end up with it. The lead is intercepted by Ackles, taken by Heron. A great block. Heron has it blocked again by Ackles, but it's called gold, Jenny. Ackles thought it was a block. So did the UNLV bench, but the official, he's the one that counts. He said goaltending. Take a look. Here it comes again. Clean block there. Was it on the way down? Terry Tackett says yes. UNLV leading by six. Anderson Hunt out in front to Ogman. That's Greg Anthony. Hunt for three, in, out, Heron with the rebound. Kevin Soares, under to Jason Schmidt, great pass, he was all alone, and UNLV caught napping defensively. And this is now a four-point ball game. The Rebels leading 26-22, 12 minutes and 20 seconds remaining, first half. Down low to Johnson, and he was just really crushed underneath. Exactly what the Rebels want to do offensively here, Jeff. Go down, go down inside, get it to Larry, let him take on the big guys. Gary Scott back into the ball game for Nevada Reno. Rod Brown comes off the bench. He was one of the guards on the club. He's six feet tall, 160 pound of sophomore from Dallas, Texas. Larry Johnson again at the free throw line for UNLV. He makes the first. Travis Bice reports in for UNLV. Last year he wore 13. He switched to number three this year. Anderson Hunt gets a breather. Everett Gray also enter the game for UNLV, replacing George Ackles. Jeff, Everett Gray will replace Ackles inside. Larry Johnson will go to the, to the center position defensively. With Chris Jeter out, the Rebels don't have their normal backup to George Ackles at this point of the season. Larry Johnson hits them both, 28-22, UNLV. A little over 12 minutes left here in the first half. And need the zone by the Rebels. Rod Brown for three, blocked by Everett Gray. Great play by Gray. Everett is 6'7", 220 pounds. He's a sophomore. Very, very quick, as he shows right there. Absolutely closing out on the shooter, not allowing the three-point attempt. Excellent defense by Everett Gray. Scott. Soares. Matt Williams for three. Matt Williams came in at 13 of 36 from three-point country, 36%. That was just about an, an NBA three-pointer, Jeff. That wasn't 19 feet. That cuts the lead to three, 28-25 UNLV. 11-24 remaining first half. A three-pointer by Anthony is good. Greg Anthony, who was in a slump shooting-wise against Alabama Birmingham, is shooting very well in the first half of this one. 31-25, UNLV. Oh, there's another three. Matt Williams. Well, we are 
Tark calling this the Nevada shootout for nothing. Tark is not happy at all with the Rebel defense. Matt Williams gets two three-pointers in a row. Fights. Basically not contested. Another three. So both teams have caught fire, and it's 34-28 UNLV. Just under 11 minutes remaining first half. Rod Brown, nice move, and it's blocked. Larry Johnson goes after it, and it's saved in the corner by Scott to Schmidt. Kevin Soares with it. Sets up the offense. Matt Williams, too hard. Rebound, Everett Gray, outlet to Anthony. Alley-oop. Oh, it almost went in. Nice effort. Ogman okay. Well, just a the last couple minutes prior to this fast break by Ogman, excellent lob pass by Anthony, looking ahead, nothing they can do but balance. A three-point contest is not what UNLV wants. It's exactly what UNR wants. If it's a shooting contest, that goes to UNR's favor. UNLV needs to go inside and then out. Gary Husky in, Rod Brown out. Wiley Thomas, who hasn't played very much, he had some stitches uh, the other day. They've had some injury problems. Ryan Thomason, their top player, is out with a ankle injury. He's out for a month, ligament damage, as Odman converts the free throw. Ten minutes and 23 seconds remaining first half. I'm Jeff Witcher, along with Mark Warkenstein. Hope you're enjoying the action from Reno, Nevada. And we've got a timeout with 10.23 remaining first half. UNLV leading Nevada Reno 36 to 28 back after this. Over time, European cars have evolved into fine luxury automobiles. The Lexus LS400, however, achieved car and driver's highest customer satisfaction ratings ever in value, workmanship, and overall satisfaction in just its first year. So much for the theory of evolution. Test drive the LS400 at Fletcher Jones Lexus. Right now, somewhere in Las Vegas, evil pizza makers are cranking out nasty little pizzas, one after the other. Then they deliver just as fast as they can. But at Villa Pizza, we're creating great pizzas and more. No one else can beat this Villa Pizza special. A large cheese pizza and bucket of wings combo is only $15.95 at all five locations. And yes, we deliver everything on the menu with a smile. Villa Pizza, much more than just great pizza. UNLV 36, Nevada Reno 28 with 10-23 remaining first half. The leading scorer in the ball game, believe it or not, is center Rick Heron of the Wolfpack with 11. Stacy Ogman is leading the running Rebels with nine. Jeff, you can be sure that Coach Tarkanian for the Rebels is not happy at all with Rick Heron having 11 points in his defensive effort. For sure here, you'll just see them going back to the man-to-man, -to -man, which is exactly what they're doing, out of the amoeba zone, changing into timeout. There's a foul as Wiley Thomas was driving to the hoop. Wiley Thomas watched the dish the whole way. Led California Junior College as an assist last year. Greg Anthony not happy with the call, but Greg Anthony, being on the point of the defense, has to contain ball penetration. Foul was on Greg Anthony, his first. Second team foul on UNLV. The Wolfpack with five team fouls. Jeff, I believe we're going to get a shooting foul out of this, which Jerry Tarkanian is to see on the sidelines. He it's can't believe it, and I agree with him. It wasn't a shoot. He wasn't shooting. <laughs> Wiley Thomas will take it, but he misses the first free throw. I rate Jerry Tarkanian letting the officials know how he feels about that call. Missed them both, and Tark says, see what happens? Karma. He's got it for UNLV. To Bice, back to Gray. More zone by the Wolfpack, Jeff. 28 on the shot clock. Vice shoots the eyes out of the bucket, but he misses badly on that shot. It goes out of bounds to Nevada Reno. Nine minutes 
46 seconds remaining first half. UNLV 36, Nevada Reno 28. Foul is on the Wolfpack. Offensive foul. The foul is on Nevada Reno number 24, Rick Heron. Rick Heron gets the called for it. Six team foul on the Wolfpack. That is the first personal on Heron. UNLV setting up their offense. Ackles and Johnson down low. Greg Anthony. No good. Ackles fights for the rebound, and it goes out of bounds to Nevada Reno. A couple of subs coming in for the Wolfpack. Kevin Soares, a point guard, and Matt Williams, a forward, back in. Anderson Hunt reports to the official scorer, and he'll come in for UNLV. Jeff, you can see Lenny Stevens on the sideline asking for over-the-back type calls. His smaller Wolfpack has done an excellent job of not allowing the Rebels many second shots, and he feels that they're climbing the backs. High post to Gary Scott, back to Soares for three. No good. Ackles going for the rebound, and it goes out to UNLV. Everett Gray back into the game for the running Rebels, replacing Larry Johnson, who needs a breather. This UNLV team is in great physical condition. And the way they run, they've got to be. with 8.42 remaining first half. 25 on the shot clock. Greg Anthony for a three. So Greg Anthony hitting three-pointers tonight. 39-28, the running Rebels lead it. Gary Scott, Gray could not stop him. What a great play by Gary Scott over Everett Gray. 39 to 30, nine point lead for UNLV. Hunt for three, no good. Anderson Hunt gets his own rebound. What a nice play by Anderson Hunt. The pride of Detroit, Michigan. Down low, Gray, two points. Everett Gray makes it UNLV 41. The Wolfpack of Nevada Reno 30. Just under eight minutes remaining first half. The Rebels are back in the man-to-man. -man. Nevada Reno's only scored one basket since they've gone to this defense. Easy call, traveling violation on Rick Herron. End of the game now for UNLV, number 31, H. Waldman. He's a true freshman, the only freshman on the squad. He's out of Las Vegas. He's got the basketball. He gives it to Hunt. Waldman can shoot from three-point country. He was three of four last week against Alabama Birmingham. Augman in and out, no good. Rebound goes to Scott. Kevin Soares has it. Almost traveled, gives it to Matt Williams. To Heron. A little left-handed hook jump shot, no good. Soares intercepts, Anderson Hunt takes it back. Sloppy basketball. A little over seven minutes remaining, first half. 41 to 30, 11-point lead for UNLV. Augman trying to get it to Ackles on the alley-oop. No good, it comes off to the Wolfpack. And a foul on Everett Gray. Easy call as he stepped in front of Kevin Soares. Larry Johnson back in for UNLV. Let's take another look. Everett Gray, young kid, second major college game, goes for the steal at half court. Not what Jerry Tarkanian is asking him to do. Nothing, let's go. Let's get line line, man. Jerry Tarkanian, always coaching. Rick Heron has it. Gives it to the playmaking guard, Soar. Kevin is out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Husky. Williams almost threw it out of bounds. Husky has to save. He did not. Out of bounds to UNLV. Lynn Stevens in his fourth year as a head coach of Nevada Reno. And the
they have had three consecutive winning seasons under his leadership. Jeff, he's doing a very fine job tonight. He's vastly undermanned and has them well prepared. Three-pointer. Everett Gray makes it 44 to 30. 14 point lead for UNLV. Gary Scott out of bounds to the Rebels. Gary Scott got an absolute free shot there. There seems to be confusion, some confusion on the Rebel defense. We've got a timeout with 6.15 remaining until halftime, and the running Rebels leading the Wolfpack by 14. Lucky Store branches, which means you can open a new checking account, apply for a loan, get cash, and do all your banking at your convenience. So check out our full-service branches in selected Lucky Stores, open seven days a week. When it comes to convenience, we've got it in the bag. Jeff Witcher along with Mark Workenstein back here at the Lawler Event Center in Reno, Nevada. Non-conference battle between UNLV and the Wolfpack of Nevada, Reno. And it's 44-30 in favor of UNLV. They've got the basketball. That's Greg Anthony with it. Jerry Hogan, number 23, is into the game now for the Wolfpack. Hogan is a swing man, 6'6", 195-pound true freshman. Larry Johnson to Hunt. Anderson Hunt for three. Off to the right, no good. Jason Schmidt rebounds for the Wolfpack to Sewell. They try an alley-oop, and Matt Williams slams it home, and that brings the crowd to their feet. 44-32, UNLV leading. The miss rebound Jason Schmidt doing a nice job on the defensive boards for Nevada Reno. Matt Williams, he loves the three-point range. Hogan will set up the offense. Williams into big man Heron. No good. Rebounded by Larry Johnson. Off to Anthony. Great pass to Hunt. And he blew an easy shot underneath. And we've got a foul at the other end. It's on Jason Schmidt of Nevada, Reno. Just an excellent pass by Greg Anthony. Anderson Hunt, who can usually finish, does not. Everett Gray gets the rebound. Fills the lane. Goes back up with it, gets the foul. Five minutes, eight seconds remaining here in the first half. UNLV, 44, Nevada, Reno, 32. So Everett Gray goes to the free throw line. One of three from the line this year. Makes it. Everett Gray is a criminal justice major, and he hopes someday to work for the FBI. Made them both. Gray makes it. UNLV 46. Nevada Reno 32. A little over five minutes left. First half. Soares almost lost it. UNLV in that tenacious man-to-man -man defense that they're so famous for. Matt Williams, no good. Comes off to Schmidt, and he is stripped of the ball by Gray, but it goes to Heron, and he scores. Heads-up play by Rick Heron. 46-34, UNLV. Everett Gray looking down low, and he lobs it for Ackles off the glass. This is a slam dunk, and it comes off to the Wolfpack. Soars with it. Soars all the way. No good. Kevin ends up with it. And they'll set up their offense. High post to Schmidt. Working on Johnson. 
Matt Williams. No good. Larry Johnson rebounds. Outlet to Anthony. A little over four minutes remaining. First half. UNLV leading the Wolfpack of Nevada Reno by a score of 46 to 34. Anthony for three, no good. Ackles bats it to Jason Schmidt. We've got a traveling violation. UNLV gets it back. Into the game for the running Rebels of Jerry Tarkunian, Travis Bice, and Stacy Ogman. And we've got a timeout. 341 remaining first half. UNLV 46, the Wolfpack 34. Fifteen years ago, gold was only $161 an ounce. Eight years ago, a John Asaro was only $6,000. Three years ago, a New York penthouse was only a million dollars. And this year, a Lexus ES250 is only $21,300. Visit Fletcher Jones Lexus while opportunity is still knocking. This is where the legend began, in places like Arapahoe Basin and Crested Butte. When people came for the good times and discovered the beer, brewed with pure Rocky Mountain spring water for a fresher, smoother, more naturally refreshing taste. Today, the beer people used to travel miles to find is available almost everywhere, but it's still got that great fresh from the Rockies taste. Original Coors, the Rocky Mountain legend. UNLV 46, Nevada Reno 34, and Mark Warkentine, Nevada Reno head coach Lynn Stevens, has to feel very good about things right now, wouldn't you think? Rick Heron, his best inside player, his only true big guy, only has one foul and is generally in foul trouble. The Rebels have not taken it inside against him, preferring to go outside in rather than inside out. Ogman looking down to Johnson, instead goes out to Bice, Anthony. Bice. And he hits a three. That makes it UNLV. 49. About Reno, 34. Three minutes and 17 seconds remaining first half. Rick Heron, no good. Rebound, Stacy Ogman. Ogman had 10 rebounds in the first game against Alabama Birmingham last Saturday night. Vice for three more, and he got it. Oh, Travis Vice indeed is the best pure shooter on the UNLV squad, and the running Rebels now open it up a bit. 52-34 over Nevada Reno. Johnson knocks it away from Schmidt. He goes against Hogan. Johnson all the way. It counts. He's fouled. An excellent little series here by Travis Bice after making two jump shots. Made a touch pass to Johnson in midcourt, who comes and finishes the thing. Has a chance for a three-point play. You talk about a mismatch. Jerry Hogan, a true freshman, trying as hard as he possibly could to stop a man who many feel is the best player in college today, Larry Johnson. And Johnson goes to the free throw line, trying to finish up the three-point play. He had a, another double-double last weekend against Alabama-Birmingham, and he makes the three-point play. He had 26 points, 11 rebounds. He has 27 double-doubles in his UNLV career. And a foul. Heron was fouled as Ackles went over the top. Two minutes, 39 seconds, showing on the clock. That's what remains here in the first half. It's UNLV 55, Nevada Reno 34. Soares brings it into Heron. Heron misses the shot, tipped up by Gary Scott, and he was fouled. Nevada Reno has just done an excellent job for Lenny Stevens here of going and getting second opportunities against the Rebels. Uh, just really a fine job, and Jerry Tarkanian is not very happy about it. Gary Scott goes to the free throw line. He comes in shooting over 83% from the charity strike. Scott is averaging a little over 12 points of ball game. 
4.2 rebounds a game. And he has hit seven three-point shots this season. This is the second. Ackles with the rebound. Outlet to Anthony. 55-35. 20-point lead for UNLV. Vice, another three. In and out. Williams rebounds for the Wolfpack. Heron way out high. The Wolfpack retain possession. Two minutes, nine seconds remaining first half. 20-point lead for UNLV in this non-conference battle. That's Jerry Hogan with it to Soares. Bice is on Soares. Three-pointer, no good. Anthony has it come to him. Lead to Larry Johnson. Great pass to Ogman. He scores. What an unselfish play by Larry Johnson to his buddy Stacy Ogman. 57-35, UNLV, 22-point lead. High post, Gary Scott. Ogman comes out on him, hits the ball, but he also got part of the arm of Scott. So Stacy Ogman picks up the personal. into Soares, Matt Williams, trying to get it to Heron, it's batted away by UNLV, Anthony with it, the Wolfpack back defensively, Vice for three, no good, rebound Matt Williams of the Wolfpack, to Soares, Anthony and Vice back defensively for UNLV, intercepted by Johnson, two on two with Anthony, Back to Johnson. Reverse layup try, no good, but a foul on Matt Williams of Nevada, Reno. One minute, 40 seconds remaining here in the first half. Excellent job in the open court by Larry Johnson and Greg Anthony handling the break. Takes it, didn't quite get the bucket in the foul. John Wooden would have loved that pass, a perfectly thrown bounce pass by Greg Anthony. Husky back in for the Wolfpack. Jerry Hogan gets a breather for Len Stevens Club, and Larry Johnson goes to the free throw line. Four of five tonight. Make that four of six. Looking for his ninth point. Couldn't get it. Rebound goes to Scott. Kevin Soares has it for the Wolfpack. Husky picked up by Hunt. Reverse layup try, no good, but a foul. So Gary Husky will go to the line for two. Larry Johnson picks up the personal for UNLV. Len Stevens has to be proud of his club. They played uh, UNLV pretty tough here in the first half. Although the running Rebels have opened it up just a bit now and lead at 57-35 with a minute 32 remaining first half. Everett Gray into the game for UNLV, replacing Larry Johnson. Jeff, you're seeing Coach Tarkanian use Everett Gray a lot here. He's going to need him in these big intersectional games that are coming up and getting him a lot of minutes here in a contest with the, where they're up handily. Tark goes to the towel for the first time tonight. On the miss, rebound Ackles, outlet to Anthony. Hunt, three-pointer. Boom, baby. That makes it UNLV 60. The Wolfpack 36. Herb Ledee into the game, number 25. Ledee out of Missouri City, Texas. He's a swing man. 6'3", 185 pound at sophomore. Stacy Ogman gets beat on the dribble here. Bumps him. Not a whole lot of a foul, but enough to get Al Hackney's attention. So Herb Ledee will be at the foul line as H. Waldman, and H. is his first name. Without a period. 
His dad and his grandfather were named Herb. His mom didn't like the name, so she said, my son is going to be H without a period, and that's it. And what mom wants, mom usually gets. Ladee, 50% from the free throw line, and he makes the first. Ladee is averaging just two points a ball game. According to Len Stevens, he is much improved from last year. Makes them both. UNLV 60. Nevada Reno 38. Waldman with it. Anderson Hunt. Hunt for three. Anderson Hunt. <laughs> Jeff, that is UNLV's 12th three-pointer of the half, and when they're knocking him down for, from three, there's just nothing that very many teams can do against them. 63-38. Gary Scott knocks Gray down. No call. Fight for the ball. Athos comes up with it. George to Waldman. Tarkanian wants him to work for one shot before halftime. 28, 27 seconds as the clock ticks away. UNLV 63, Nevada Reno 38. You see the shot clock, in fact the game clock in the lower right hand corner of your screen. One of the few times that Nevada Reno has played man to man in this ball game. Hunt goes all the way, misses a rather easy shot. And a foul with two seconds left. Oh, excellent effort by Everett Gray. That was not an easy rebound. The foul is on the Wolfpack number 20, Wiley Thomas. Anderson Hunt, 12, the beats the Wolfpack on the drive, the missed shot. Everett Gray just goes and gets it over to uh, Wolfpack players. The foul is called on Nevada Reno's Wiley Thomas, his first. Everett Gray is at the free throw line. That was the 10th team foul, and that's one of the new rules this year. After a team commits 10 fouls and a half, two free throws are awarded. Another rule change, three free throws awarded when a player is fouled while shooting from three-point country. It'll count if it goes. No good. There is a buzzer signifying the end of the first half. Our score, UNLV 65, Nevada Reno 38. We'll be back with halftime activities right after these messages. Nice, nice, Ackerman. Nice. Santa, I've been nice. In fact, I'm so nice from now until Christmas, you can get a new car or truck from God and make no payments for an entire year. Get a new 91 Thunderbird, known for its personal luxury with all its equipment for only $13,395. At God we have a huge selection of exciting, dependable, fuel-efficient cars and trucks priced to sell today. Plus, no payments for an entire year. What do you think now, Santa? Nice. Happy holidays from your friends at God Ford and Import Center, 2121 East Sahara. Nobody makes banking easier. Now you can bank seven days a week at First Interstate Bank's full-service Lucky Store branches, which means you can open a new checking account, apply for a loan, get cash, and do all your banking at your convenience. So check out our full-service branches in selected Lucky Stores, open seven days a week. When it comes to convenience, we've got it in the bag. First Interstate Bank. Ah, the good old days. Remember when Nevada had an airline that offered low fares and lots of flights to Reno and the L.A. area? Alas, fares went up and flights went down. Now, Southwest Airlines offers six new daily flights to Reno, Tahoe, five to Ontario, and seven to Burbank for $59 or less. So, thanks to Southwest Airlines, low fares and lots of flights are back. Page All Las Vegas Hears, page 900. A hint of music, an open heart, the 
scent of mesquite. Unforgettable moments. It doesn't take a special occasion to make an occasion special. The Steakhouse, quietly nestled in the heart of the Circus Circus. Capacity crowd here in Reno, Nevada. A wild first half. 65-38 our halftime score as the number one rated UNLV running Rebels leading the Nevada Reno Wolfpack. Well, it's been a big sports day and a big sports night in the state of Nevada. Joining me now is uh, Senator Harry Reid. Your reaction to the first half of this one? Well, of course, it's obvious who the national champion is. And I think it's outstanding that we have this intrastate rivalry. As you know, UNR won the football game, so it's established some great rivalry that we should have had going a lot longer. And what a football game it was, Senator. Three overtimes, 59-52, the victory for Nevada Arena over Boise State. What a ball game. Well, I think that we could have two national champions here in Nevada because they play, as you know, next week in Georgia, and they stand a chance, UNR, to be a national champion. I sure hope so. It was very nice of you to come by. Good to Glad see to you. Here. Thanks. Nevada Senator Harry Reid. Here at halftime, it's UNLV 65, Nevada Reno 38. We'll have more right after these messages. On. You don't want to fill up, so reach for the silver bullet, the one that won't slow you down. We're talking about cool, like it's the right beer now. Whoa! Taco Bell done it again, my friend. Taco Bell done it again. They got free new menu, free low prices. Couldn't it break to fly? Everything I like is 59, 79, 99. Even Taco, Taco Supreme, Natural Supreme, free new menu. Somebody tell Louise. Whoa! It's a nine, nine, nine. Run for the border, don't waste time. Three new menu, Taco Bell, done it again. Wow! Enduring. Distinctive. Impressive. There are good reasons why some things stand out from others. Like Cragen and Pike. Serving the insurance needs of Nevadans since 1909. Property casualty insurance, commercial insurance, personal insurance, all provided with an impressive caliber of service. Cragen and Pike, insurance since 1909. Dad's gonna be mad. You broke his tire. No problem. This is a big old tire. Big O brand tires come with free rotations, rebalancing, and flat repairs for the life of the tires and the best warranty in the business, covering defect and road hazard. Big O tires, customer satisfaction second to none. Big O make windows too. time here in Nevada, Reno, UNLV leading 65-38 over the Wolfpack. Hello again, everybody. I'm Jeff Witcher along with Mark Walkentine. And Mark, your analysis of this first half of action. Well, Jeff, Nevada, Reno decided to give the Rebels the outside shot. Deny Larry Johnson and the big fellas their shots inside. The Rebels knock down 12 three-pointers, and when that happens, there's just nothing that you can do against UNLV. Prior to that, Rick Heron was doing a good job, and the Wolfpack were staying fairly close. When the Rebels were in their amoeba zone, they had a hard time with Rick Heron. They went back to the man-to-man, -man, got a better effort. UNLV fans should look for Coach Tarkin to work on that amoeba defense in the second half because they're going to need it down the line, and I think Jerry will go to it with the big lead. We'll take a look at the first half scoring when we come back right after this. Nobody makes banking easier. Now 
you can bank seven days a week at First Interstate Bank's full-service Lucky Store branches, which means you can open a new checking account, apply for a loan, get cash, and do all your banking at your convenience. So check out our full-service branches in selected Lucky Stores, open seven days a week. When it comes to convenience, we've got it in the bag. First Interstate Bank. Don't look, Leonard. It's that Winchell's Donut commercial. Oh, no. There's the Chocolate Supreme. And look at that cherry-covered vanilla glacé. And the coconut flake. A Winchell's Donut can provide 100% of your daily requirement of colored sprinkles, gooey filling, and other temptation. The candy-colored rainbow. And right now, you can get a bag of any six Winchell's Donuts for just $2.29. Oh. From Winchell's, your original favorite. Two. Morning stocks are up six three, points. Zinc is up at seven. Petroleum is three. Outside the five, rising to seven. Eight. That's down five. One, on the road to the 101 is four. Better take the 405 to the 10. 10. Now you can count on a rich cup of coffee with new U-Ban filter packs. It's the only 100% Colombian ground coffee pre-measured in its own filter. It's never been easier to get 100% Colombian coffee, the richest in the world. Today's winning numbers are 56, 27, New U-Ban filter packs. Colombian richness you can count on. Everybody's mom is special. And today, because of her hectic schedule, special gifts are called for. Whatever the occasion. For her birthday, anniversary, to celebrate her promotion at work. For any reason, even just to say, I love you. Give mom a truly unique gift. Let Annie the Maid make your mom's life easier, more fun, and more relaxed. Call Annie the Maid today and watch your mom's face glow. Oh, dads can get on this too, not just the kids. Call Annie the Maid today for a gift that fits all year round. UNLV with a big halftime lead, 65-38 over Nevada, Reno. And what about it? Jerry Tarkanian in the second half. Will he empty the benchmark? I don't think so, Jeff. Most teams have played six or seven games at this time of the year. The Rebels have only played one, this being their second. You'll see H. Waldman a lot. You'll see Everett Gray a lot, who need the experience for big intersectional games coming up. But they need to work with frontline people, and the frontline people have haven't played a lot of minutes this year. They need time. Well, the uh, shooters were on for UNLV, particularly from three-point range, and we'll find out who did what statistically when we come back to the capacity-filled Lawler Event Center right after these important messages. Ah, the good old days. Remember when Nevada had an airline that offered low fares and lots of flights to Reno and the L.A. area? Alas, fares went up and flights went down. Now, Southwest Airlines offers six new daily flights to Reno, Tahoe, five to Ontario, and seven to Burbank for $59 or less. So, thanks to Southwest Airlines, low fares and lots of flights are back. Now appearing in the Barbary Coast Sportsbook and the Gold Coast Sportsbook, Ties Win Parlay Cards, featuring Big Mike's Super $100,000 special for only $5. Half-point cards with even higher odds. Our Monday night special for a variety of ways to keep you in action. And the famous Friendly Frank's teaser card, which still pays the highest odds in town. Play them now, 24 hours a day, at the Barbary Coast and the Gold Coast. Page all Las Vegas hears. Page 900. We're at halftime where UNLV is leading Nevada Reno by a score of 65 to 38. 
Well, it was a, a red-hot offensive unit for UNLV. They started off a little bit slow, and then they started taking some three-point shots, and they were going in. Here is Nevada Reno's Matt Williams. We told you he could leap. There's the slam dunk. UNLV famous for the alley-oop. Well, here is one for the home team. Nevada Reno as Williams goes up and pushes it through. Matt Williams is only 6'3". UNLV, we told you they were hitting from three-point country. Greg Anthony, nothing but net. Here's that play where Larry Johnson with a great pass and the nice uh, put in by Odman. On this play, the shot is no good and the fast break run to perfection by UNLV. They don't call them the running rebels for nothing. Here at halftime, it's UNLV with a 65-38 advantage over the Wolfpack of Nevada Reno. The scoring for the running rebels, Stacy Ogman led the way with 14, Anderson Hunt had 13, Greg Anthony added a dozen, Travis Bice off the bench with nine, as Everett Gray also had nine, and Larry Johnson with eight points. For Nevada Reno, Rick Heron led them with 18, Matt Williams had 10, Gary Scott with a half dozen, Kevin Soares, a playmaking guard with four, Herb Ledee and Jason Schmidt, two apiece off the bench. And the halftime score, UNLV 65 and Nevada Reno 38. We'll be back with the second half in just a moment. This is where the legend began, on rivers like the Gunnison and Colorado, when people came for the good times and discovered the beer, brewed with pure Rocky Mountain spring water for a fresher, smoother, more naturally refreshing taste. Today, the beer people used to travel miles to find is available almost everywhere, but it's still got that great fresh from the Rockies taste. Original Coors, the Rocky Mountain legend. Tis the season to discover $5 clothing stores where you can get the coolest gifts for $8 or less. Whether you've been naughty or nice. Oh, what fun it is to shop. Call for the $5 clothing store nearest you. Now this is a sandwich. Board of subs. This is a sandwich unlike sandwiches you've known before. Board of subs. This is a sandwich created fresh just for you. Board of subs. This is a port of sub sandwich. It's quite probably the best sandwich in the world. And it's right around the corner at Port of Subs, your neighborhood sandwich shop. Nice, nice, Ackerman. Hi. Santa, I've been nice. In fact, I'm so nice from now until Christmas, you can get a new car or truck from Gordon and make no payments for an entire year. Get a sporty, fully loaded 91 Mustang LX, airbag equipped for just $99.98. At Gordon, we have a huge selection of exciting, dependable, fuel-efficient cars and trucks priced to sell today. Plus, no payments for an entire year. What do you think now, Santa? Nice. Happy holidays from your friends at Gordon Ford and Import Center, 2121 East Sahara. UNLV leading Nevada Reno 65-38. Jerry Tarkanian, you'd never know that his club was leading by 65-38. And it goes out of bounds to the Wolfpack. Same starting lineup for both clubs. Larry Johnson, Stacy Ogman up front, Ackles at center, Hunt and Anthony in the backcourt. For the Wolfpack, Kevin Soares at one guard, Gary Husky at the other, Matt Williams and Gary Scott at forwards, and Rick Heron at center. Going out of bounds, UNLV will take it on the Wolfpack turnover. Coach Sark can't be much happier <coughs> with the defensive effort there. Trying to get it in low, and he gets it to Johnson, and we have a whistle and a foul on the wall. 
open. Rick Heron gets called for the personal. His second first team foul for the Wolfpack. And immediately, Len Stevens calls a timeout. 19-32 left in this one. UNLV leading big early stages of the second half. I'm already on my third Mercedes, but I'm not telling him that. I just said hello, and he ended up telling me about the 10-year resale record and the research on cost of ownership. After a while, I mentioned a couple of things, nothing major. And the five-year forecast about the 420 SEL having the lowest cost of ownership in its class. They want to sell you a car. And it wasn't until we got around to the price that I managed to get a word in edgewise. It's not what you spend today, it's what you save tomorrow. There has never been a show like it. Peter Jackson's spectacular King Arthur's Tournament. For tickets for 597 76 Two dinner performances nightly. King Arthur's Tournament. You won't believe your eyes. Dad's gonna be mad. You broke his tire. No problem. This is a Big O tire. Big O brand tires come with free rotations, rebalancing, and flat repairs for the life of the tires and the best warranty in the business, covering defect and road hazard. Big O tires. Customer satisfaction second to none. Big O make windows, too. UNLV's got it. Johnson on the uh, reverse. Good. It counts. He's fouled. And a disgusted Gary Scott of the Wolfpack. And prior to that play, another perfectly executed alley-oop by UNLV, and they lead it 69-38. So Larry Johnson goes to the line, trying to complete the three-point play. Last season's Big West Conference Player of the Year. 70-38 UNLV. That's Matt Williams with it. The Wolfpack is having to start their offense so far beyond the free throw line here. The Rebels defense is taking effect. Soares misses badly from three-point country. UNLV has an Anthony lead to Johnson all by himself and scores. Going down but getting up okay is Gary Scott of the Wolfpack. UNLV leading big 72-38 with 18-40 remaining in this non-conference battle. Hunt guarding Soares. High post Heron. Baseline it goes to Husky. No good. Soares has it back for the Wolfpack. Heron. No. Chip by Scott. No. Rebound Augment. Anderson Hunt. Offensive foul on UNLV. Anderson Hunt. A charging violation. Greg Anthony kicks it ahead. Anderson Hunt trying to finish it off. It's a nice call by the official. UNLV 72. Nevada Reno 38. A little over 18 minutes left in this ball game. Hope you're enjoying it. Delighted you could spend part of your weekend with us. I'm Jeff Witcher along with Mark Workington from the Lawler Event Center in Reno, Nevada. Capacity crowd on hand. Heron, goaltending bucket, Rick Heron. Larry Johnson talking with George Ackles, and he says, hey, big fella, sometimes you have to be careful on those plays. Well, George is relying on his athletic ability to go and try to block shots rather than move his feet and deny the ball from <clears throat> the offensive player. Of course, Ackles with 64 blocks a couple of years ago holds the school record in a single season. 72 to 40, 32 point lead. Anthony, a three point attempt. Tip no good, rebound Gary Scott. Yeah. 
kicking violation. The Wolfpack retained possession. Husky will bring it in. Knocked out of bounds again. That stops the clock with 17, 19 left in the game. 41 on the 45-second shot clock. Matt Williams, no good. Heron fights for the rebound, but Ogman goes a little bit higher. Larry Johnson. We've got a foul on the Wolfpack. Gary Husky charged with a personal, his second, 13th foul on the Vatterino. Husky is 6'1", 170 pounder for Lynn Stevens Club. Larry Johnson is 6'7", 250, a senior out of Dallas, Texas. A nice touch goes through. Johnson's career high in points for Jerry Tarkanian, 32. He's done it twice against Cal State Fullerton and DePaul last season. Gets a substitute throw on a lane violation. Johnson has scored in double figures in all 41 of his games at UNLV. This is a free, th uh, free throw, rebounded by Ogman. He gives it to Anthony, to Anderson Hunt. Anderson Hunt for three. UNLV 76, Nevada Reno 40, with 16 minutes and 43 seconds left in the game. Matt Williams loses the ball. It goes to Johnson, to Anthony. Hunt, another three. Rims out. Heron with the rebound. Soares has it. Off of Soares, oh out of bounds to UNLV. And Len Stevens up off the bench. Well, he knows what Mike Sefsky felt like in Denver right now, Jeff. Not a whole lot he can do about it right now. UNLV, number one in the nation, both in the Associated Press and UPI polls. Hunt, another three. Misses badly. Ogman hustled for it, but couldn't get it. Out of bounds to the Wolfpack. Stacy Ogman. He was a Big West Player of the Year as a sophomore. Anthony all over Kevin Soares. We've got a technical foul. A technical foul called on the Lenny Stevens was not happy with the hand checking with Greg Anthony on Kevin Soares. Let the official know. Got a technical for it. Stevens is still John with one of the officials. And Greg Anthony will be shooting the, uh, the technical shots. This is the first one. Anthony did not attempt a free throw against Alabama Birmingham and he makes one of two and now it will go out to the Rebels at midcourt. The governor of Nevada. Bob Miller, who has an excellent player and his son Ross Miller up here in Carson City. Great basketball fan. Hot high post to uh, Johnson, to Anthony, Elliott to Ogman. UNLV, they've got that play down. 79-40, the Rebels. And here they come. Anthony doing a great job as a point guard. He carried the ball over. On the turnover, it goes to the Wolfpack. H. Waldman wants to come in for the Rebels. And now the official waves a bit, and Greg Anthony will get a blow. Waldman. 
Johnson intercepts, slam dunk. And in that play there, Jeff, you, in, you see why UNLV is such a good team. Larry Johnson's going to make a lot of money. In the first five minutes here of the second half, they've allowed only one basket. Larry Johnson still denying, even though they're 41 points ahead. Soares on the miss, but he was fouled. The Waldman picks up the personal for UNLV. Everett Gray replaces George Ackles. Now this, this is a big time for UNLV, even though it's a 41-point ball game right now. H. Waldman and Everett Gray have both only played one major college game. Michigan State is next Saturday. A lot of big intersectional games. H. Waldman and Everett Gray have to help this team. They need quality minutes with the better players, not a mop-up crew. They need to get the minutes in now. Jerry has them in there. He's going to try to get some quality time out of them in the experience they need to beat teams like Michigan State in week one. Kevin Soares, after missing the free throws, gets the steal, misses a layup, batted around, and Johnson knocks it out of bounds. It'll go to Nevada Reno. 15 minutes and 14 seconds left in this non-conference game. UNLV leading by 41 points over Nevada Reno. Last meeting between these two. Oh, what a nice shot, Kevin Soares. At the other end, Hunt. Oh, a nice reverse layup by Anderson Hunt as he switched hands in midair. And it's 83-42, Rebels. Husky misses, Johnson with a powerful rebound. He's big and strong, and a foul called on the play. The Travis Bice into the ball game. Lynn Stevens patting Wiley Thomas, one of his backcourt aces on the backside. Anderson Hunt gets a breather. Lynn Stevens up there coaching his ball club. A lot of guys, when they're stuck 40 points at a point like this, just sit down and let the clock run out. Lenny's still coaching his team. He knows that they, they can still gain something from this tonight, and he's coached. Waldman, cross court to Ogman. Bice, long three, no good. Matt Williams loses it, and it goes to Johnson. UNLV will set it up. Johnson for three. Larry Johnson, he was one for two in three-point country last weekend, and he looked like a million bucks on that one. Unofficially, we have 14 three-pointers for UNLV, and the record for UNLV is 17, right, Mark? 17 against the University of Indiana. Freddie Banks at all, throwing them in down to New Orleans. The Rebels have a chance to break the record tonight. There's a foul called. Clock stop, 14 minutes, 24 seconds remaining in the contest. UNLV 86, Nevada Reno 42. Jeff, most teams will come, to come out and with a lead like this, lay down. The Rebels' work ethic is such they come out and make a 21-4 run on, UNO, on UNR to start this half. And a combined 12 turnovers in the early stages of the second half. And the Rebels are taking this out of bounds very seriously. Jerry's up telling him to deny. He's harping at the official. Jerry Tarkane, and you might have been able to hear him in the background saying to the official, he has a right to get around him. Jason Schmidt will handle out of bounds. It goes into Wiley Thomas. And Waldman sweeping from behind, and that is a, a freshman mistake. Especially after the last series, and this is where H. Waldman needs this time, every grade needs time. After the semi fracas at half court, H knows he's got to put his hands away and not try to reach and get get cute. Just play with your feet, get good solid position. Even if you get all ball, that'll be called on you nine out of ten times. Especially after that sideline situation. They're going to tighten it up. Husky with it for the Wolfpack. Wiley Thomas. Husky, baseline, nice move, and he misses a shot. Foul call underneath. Everett Gray gets up. He's okay. 
Everett Gray picks up the personal. That is the second personal on Everett. Sixth team foul on UNLV. You'd hate to be redundant, Jeff. The two young guys didn't know to play with their feet and put their hands away that the officials are going to call it tight after the half-court situation. Husky makes the free throw. Well, this is exactly what you were talking about while, why Tark wants these youngsters in this ball game because it's going to do them a world of good. With guys like Larry Johnson and Stacey Ogman, just don't clear it. This is only the Rebels' second game. It's still a learning experience. First and ten, Husky says, I've got the ball. Let me run with it. Boy, did they run with it today in a semifinal Division I two-way matchup. Nevada Reno in three overtimes defeated Boise State 59-52. UNLV with the basketball. Bice has it. Waldman. This right here, Jeff, is excellent for the Rebels. They're next to opponents. And Michigan State, who plays a lot of matchup zone. And Princeton, who plays man-to-man. -man. But the matchup Saturday is what they're going to see in the immediate future. And they're seeing it here against the Wolfpack right now. The alley-oop pass almost went in. Waldman has it. He's out of Clark High School, Las Vegas, Nevada. Vice, a three-pointer. No good. Rebound, Ogman. Stacy had 10 in the first game. He can do it all. Waldman, no good. Another rebound on the offensive boards for Stacy Ogden. Jeff did. The Wolfpack is simply wore down. They're not getting the boards that they were fighting so hard for in the first half. Easy bucket for Larry Johnson to make it UNLV 88. Nevada Reno 43. Just under 13 minutes remaining in this non-conference game. The Wolfpack from the Big Sky, UNLV out of the Big West. Rebounded by Gray, all by himself. H. Waldman, 90 to 43. UNLV, remember, scored 109 last Saturday night against Alabama Birmingham. Get low to Heron, and he muscles his way in for two. Nice bucket by Heron. 90-45, UNLV. Down low to Everett Gray. Bice all by himself, a three-point attempt. Bice, he had three of four last weekend. Whistle and a foul. Bobby Joyce getting ready to come in for UNLV along with George Hackles, and here they come. Kevin Soares back in for the Wolfpack, replacing Wiley Thomas. Soares, number 30. Stacy Ogman and Larry Johnson come out for the Rebels. High five, low five, coaches and players alike greeting Larry Johnson. Great effort by the senior power forward of the running Rebels. Rebounded by Bice on the miss by Husky. Waldman walked with the ball before he uh, put the ball to the floor. And we've got a timeout, 11.40 remaining in this one. UNLV running away from the Wolfpack of Nevada Arena. We'll be back after this. Ah, the good old days. Remember when Nevada had an airline that offered low fares and lots of flights to Reno and the L.A. area? Alas, fares went up and flights went down. Now, Southwest Airlines offers six new daily flights to Reno, Tahoe, five to Ontario, and seven to Burbank for $59 or less. So, thanks to Southwest Airlines, low fares and lots of flights are back. Saturday afternoon, and we were taking our walk. It's the same thing for over a month now. Come in, look around, drive the car, the two of them. I have my eye on that silver one. I mean, I know she really wants it, so I tell her a price. 
28,950. I think that's terrific, but I stay cool, and we go for a drive. Again. We talked a little, and we drove a little, and then we talked some more. Here we go again. Only Merlin doesn't think it's this color. Get this. It turned out Merlin could live with it. Rebounding. Has Ogman done a job or what? Look at that. 13 to 5, and Ogman has 12 of the 13. Well, the veteran kids just came out and did a great job to start the second, second half. UNR still only has seven points in this half after eight and a half minutes. The Rebels now going to the Amoeba zone, which they'll be using more later in the year. Waldman comes up with a rebound for UNLV. Leads it to Gray, baseline, and he is hit by Rick Herring. Larry Johnson sitting on the UNLV bench with 21 points. Heron, who just committed the foul, leading the way for the Wolfpack scoring-wise with 17. That is his third personal. H. Walden looks ahead, good vision. Up to Everett Gray, takes a strong to the basket, gets the foul. Vice for three. Bobby Joyce follows with two. Bobby Joyce, a transfer from Riverside Community College where he played with Everett Gray. Ackles with it to Waldman. Wolf back, back defensively. Bice, a three-pointer, no good. Heron with the rebound to Kevin Sewell. We've got a foul inside. Against UNLV. And it's on Bobby Boyce, a choice rather. So many Stevens on the side line, Jeff. Still coaching his team. He's not sitting down. He's grabbing guys on the side. He's giving instructions. He is still coaching his team. Kevin Soares at the line for Nevada Reno, shooting one and one. He'll get the second. them both. UNLV 95, the Wolfpack 47, 10 minutes and 33 seconds remaining in this game. I'm Jeff Witcher along with Mark Workington coming to you from the Lawler Event Center in Reno, Nevada. Capacity crowd and this place holds 11,200. Nice touch by Everett Gray of UNLV. That is another three-pointer, 16 unofficially. Vice, a lead to Waldman on a breakaway. Oh, great pass to Gray on the follow, and a foul. Unselfish basketball. And each Waldman, who ha ha has the layup here, is going to give it up to Gray, future uh, point guard of the Rebels. Let's ever have one. End of the game for UNLV, number 30, Dave Rice, a senior out of Claremont, California. And Ackles goes out. Rice, 6'4 and a half, 205 pounds. David Rice just got done with his Rhodes Scholar interviews, ended up finishing third, two were chosen, represented the university very well. No good, rebounded by Hogan to Soar. Hogan a three-pointer. Wow. Jerry Hogan gives the crowd something to cheer about. At the other end, a slam dunk by Bobby Joyce. And that brings a UNLV bench to their feet. That, that's a big point for Bobby Joyce. Bobby Joyce got out of shape early in your runs the floor very hard here. Beats all the wolf pack down. Finishes with the dunk. Gets the foul. Ultimately, Jerry Tarkany would like to see Bobby Joyce be Larry Johnson's sub at the power forward spot. He's catching up. He's getting some time. This is good work for Bobby Joyce. He misses. Bobby Joyce, they call him Rejoice because of his uh, happy-go-lucky personality. He had a big smile from ear to ear after that slam a moment ago. And we've got a whistle and a foul. 
and the Wolfpack will be in a one-and-one -one situation. Travis Bice picks up the foul for the running Rebels. UNLV has hit the century mark again. 100 to 50, our score. Third personal on Bice. Schmidt from the line. Banks it in. He'll take it. <laughs> and we had it. <laughs> I'll just let it go. I'll just let it go. Jerry's letting it go. Feeling pretty good right now. Smith hits them both. 100 to 52. UNLV in a rout. Joyce from baseline. So Bobby Joyce showing off a nice touch from the perimeter. Makes it 102 52. Scott, high archer, nice shot by the Wolfpacks, Gary Scott. Joyce inside, bites for the ball, it's loose, Rice with it. Rice, a three-point attempt, no good. Just under nine minutes left in this game. Three-pointer by Hogan. No good. Heron trying to fight for the rebound. And then Waldman went after it. And it's off Heron out of bounds to UNLV. Jerry Tarkanian sends George Ackles back into the contest, replacing Bobby Joyce. Bobby Joyce did well during his time. He's not quite ready to go. Needs a little blow here. Everett Gray is fouled as Matt Williams tried to strip him with the ball and got his arm. So Everett Gray will be at the free throw line for UNLV. If you joined us late, Arizona, if you haven't heard, number two weighted team in the country, lost to LSU earlier today. So UNLV might get every first uh, place vote there is, Mark. Well, in the uh, 64 Associated Press votes, Arizona got the remaining 19 that UNLV didn't get last week. So on Monday, they might get them all. Travis Weiss, he's grown a half inch, and he's picked up about 13 pounds from last year. Misses the three-pointer. Rebounded by Gray. Rice for three. No good. Heron with the rebound. Hogan a three-pointer. Nice rebound by Ackles to Bice. Waldman. Ackles. And a foul. George Ackles just flew down the floor. He had a nice catch of the ball. George Ackles. 6'9", 215-pound senior out of Pittsburgh, PA. Flying through the air with Waltman the greatest of ease. Blur in the middle of the floor, one George Ackles. The official attendance tonight, Matt Williams has just fouled out, being consoled by assistant coach of the Wolfpack. The official attendance tonight, as Ackles goes to the line, 11,090, which is a Lawler Event Center record. George misses the first. At the football game today, they had 19,776. So at the two events, almost 31,000 fans turned out. We got a timeout here at the Lawler Event Center. 7.52 remaining as the running Rebels running away with it. 
already on my third Mercedes, but I'm not telling him that. I just said hello, and he ended up telling me about the 10-year resale record and the research on cost of ownership. After a while, I mentioned a couple of things, nothing major. And the five-year forecast about the 420 SEL having the lowest cost of ownership in its class. They want to sell you a car. And it wasn't until we got around to the price that I managed to get a word in edgewise. It's not what you spend today, it's what you save tomorrow. I got one in rebel fever burning up my mind. I got one in rebel fever and it feels so fine. I don't need to see a doctor or stay in bed all day. The only thing I need is just to watch those rebel play. I got one in rebel fever burning up my mind. Do, 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 do. a great reaction shot on Bobby Joyce's play a few minutes ago. UNLV, oh, they got a lot to be happy about in game two. They're leading big, 103-54 over at Nevada, Reno. And this is on the road, my friends. Kevin Soares. Alley-oop, but too far. Gary Scott saves it, but it goes to Bice. He gives to Waldman, lead to Everett Gray, slam! Done. And after Gray made it, he looks over to the bench and said, how was that, guys? And they applauded him. 105-54. George. Gary Scott. Great Scott. Gary Scott makes the bucket. 105-54. A lot of the fans here have headed toward the exit. Rebound Heron. Jason Schmidt. Fly swatted away by Ackles, but another goaltending call on George. George trying to keep both teams in the game here. <laughs> Makes a basket on one end, gives it back on the other. Inside to the pack. George, rather than move his feet with... To get this, maintain the solid defensive position, relies on his leaping ability for the block and gets caught with the goaltender. Down low to Everett Gray. Vice from three-point country. Boom, baby. Another three-pointer. And unofficially, that is 17, which ties the UNLV record for three-pointers in a single contest. Whistle and a foul at the other end. 622 remaining in this one. UNLV 108. The foul on Nevada Reno 58. Rick Heron goes to the line. That's the 10th team foul on UNLV. So with the new rule, he'll be shooting two. Makes the first. You like that new rule, Mark? It's going to speed up the end of the game a lot, Jeff, because it, it penalizes teams for, for uh, going to the intentional foul. A lot of the end of the game to the last minute, a lot of the NC2A games were taking 25, 30 minutes to play without the intentional foul. Now the coach will be hesitant to, uh, to foul because they'll get two shots every time. On the miss by Vice, Wiley Thomas finally gets it. Oh, and a nice move. H. Walton bringing it up here, Jeff, has done a nice job here. Dude. The tendency is to get sloppy, try to make home run plays. He's not turning the ball over. He's doing a nice job. Bobby Joyce, nice pass to Gray, and he puts it up and in. Joyce gets the assist, Gray the bucket, 110-61 UNLV. Scott was stripped of the ball, but somebody Got a piece of the arm as well. That stops the clock with 5.33 remaining. You know, Jeff, the, the tendency right now is to say, well, UNLV is not that strong, or not that uh, going against a strong situation. H. Waldman with four here has got to, you know, Coach Tarkanian does not want Greg Anthony has to come back in and finish the, uh, the game at the point. But this, 
Jeff, this, uh, this Reno team lost a point to South Carolina. South Carolina went to North Carolina and beat the Tar Heels. This is not a bad Reno team. This is an outstanding UNLV team, and this is only the second game of the season. Joyce gets his own rebound, and his second effort pays off, 112-61. Rod Brown will handle out of bounds for the Wolfpack. Brown out of Dallas, Texas, a sophomore. Inside to Heron. He misses. Joyce, outlet to Walden. Oh, nice pass. And trying to slam it home is Everett Gray, and he's fouled. Four minutes and 59 seconds left in this one. Scott, 44 here for uh, UNR. Went for a very strong block against Everett Gray, who was kind of a marked man in this game. Everett, earlier in the week, had some uh, left-handed remarks for the, the Reno team, and they know who he is. Gray misses the first one. Everett out of Bloomington, California, 6'7", 220 pounds, makes the second, 113-61, UNLV leading big. Wiley Thomas, there's a foul on the drive to the bucket. Travis Weiss gets the personal. Fourth foul on Travis. And it sends Wiley Thomas to the line, shooting two. Thomas hits them both. UNLV 113. Nevada Reno 63. Bobby Joyce gets the rebound, passes to Gray. No good. Wiley Thomas rebounds for the Wolfpack. Brown almost had it batted away. And a foul on the baseline against the Wolfpacks. Gary Scott. A little over four the minutes left in this one. Surely hope you've enjoyed tonight's action. The fifth personal on 113-63, UNLV leading with 416 left. Jeff Witcher and Mark Workington with you. Ladies and gentlemen, Gary Scott. Herb Ledee out of the ball game, replacing Gary Scott who gets a nice round of applause from the fans who uh, are still in the building. At the start, we had 11,090. We have about half that right now. Vice, three-pointer. Travis Vice. And unofficially, that would establish a new three-point record for UNLV in a single game. 18. That's unofficial. Rod Brown, nice move. Jerry Tarkanian upset at UNLV's defense on that play. Another three, this time by Rice. And that would be 19 unofficially from three-point country for the running Rebels. And it's 119-65 UNLV. And a blocking foul at the other end. Three minutes and 28 seconds, all that remains. And then Lynn Stevens and his club can go in and lick their wounds. David Rice beat on the dribble. Everett Gray goes to help. Didn't establish the position. Call for the block. Herb Ledee going about shooting Herb Ledee out of Missouri City, Texas. 6'3", 185-pound sophomore. 
misses uh, for the first time tonight from the free throw line as Len Stevens continues to give encouragement to his ball club. A very young ball club, and they're playing without their best player, Brian Thomason, who uh, has ligament damage in an ankle. He'll be out a month. Timeout with 328 left. UNLV leading 119 to 66. Back after this. When the only thing better than making it to the top is making it to the bottom. It's the right view now. Because you know looking good isn't just for summer. It's the right view now. Because you know winter's the time to turn up the heat. So call for the silver bullet, the one that won't slow you down. I sure don't miss cleaning this pool anymore. Works for me. <laughs> Boy, I sure don't miss cutting this grass anymore. Works for me. Boy, I sure don't miss painting that old house anymore. Works for me. Well, who didn't know that? I like living at Rock Springs Vista, and I sure don't miss those high house payments. I know. Works, Works for, for me. me. Come to Rock Springs Vista at Buffalo and Washington, where life begins at 64950. UNLV with the ball and a big lead. Vice misses from three-point range. Rebound, Everett Gray misses an easy shot underneath. And out of bounds it goes. Brian Immersion, a UNLV favorite, coming into the game for the running Rebels. Here he comes. And he'll replace Travis Vice. Brian Immersion. the UNLV fans who are in attendance want Brian to shoot whenever he gets his hands on the ball. Three-pointer by Rice. It's nothing but thread. UNLV 122. The Wolfpack 66. Just under three minutes left in this game. Down low to Heron. He scores. Rick Heron. 6'10", 235, a sophomore. He really is uh, doing a nice job in the middle. Lynn Stevens expects him to have a banner season. Rice hits another three. 125-68 <laughs> Rebels. Heron in low. Gets an easy bucket. Rebels just kind of playing two for you and three for me right now. Rice misses, followed by Gray, no good. Wiley Thomas has it for Nevada Reno. Herb Ledee banks it in. Waldman, oh, what a move. H. Waldman, what a great driving move. At the other end, we've got a whistle that stops the clock with a minute 51. And Mark, this is the time when you don't want to see anybody get hurt. Well, this is really a, a time now when the guys with the striped shirts have, have to keep working on, on the game and, and not quit on it. Not allow it to get too sloppy, not allow too many fouls to go on. They can't go to sleep. And Lenny Stevens is reminding them of just that. Herb Ledee shooting two for the Wolfpack. That makes it 127 to 73. Misses the second. Immersion to Waldman. Immersion air ball 
Choice follows for two. Great aggressive play by Bobby Joyce. Rebounded by Rice. Here come the Rebels. Lead to Emergent. He misses. Wiley Thomas has it. A little over a minute remaining. The UNLV bench wants one thing now. Schmidt makes it. They want immersion to score before this is over. There's no question about that. That's the, their focus right now. Everett Gray underneath. Excellent pass way to Auburn. 131-75, under a minute left. Herb Ledee, and he's fouled. As you, as, as you can see right in front of us, Jerry Tarkady is not happy with every great defense. Tells you something, why they're so successful on the defensive end. Everett not covered his area in the Amoeba zone. <laughs> Tarkady just shouted at us. He doesn't want to see Everett get any bad happen. Ladini misses the first one. If the 131 points here that the Rebels have equaled, equals their score in the Loyola Marymount game in the playoffs last year, 131. Free throw is good by D. Jerry Charkanian watching the final seconds, 44 seconds remaining. 131-76, UNLV going to their second win without defeat here in the 1990-91 season. Oh, a three by Rod Brown. Everett Gray misses the slam on the alley-oop. 20 seconds left. Schmidt at the other end. That makes it 131 to 81. Page Walden, razzle-dazzle, and Emergent has it knocked out of bounds. Five seconds showing on the clock. Count up and go. No good. There's the buzzer, and this one is history. Final score, UNLV romps over Nevada Reno, 131-81. to Jerry Tarkanian talking it over with his counterpart, Lynn Stevens. We'll